Hello guys, this is uh, Miami Automobile. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have with me here E350 2006. All right, guys. Uh, I don't actually know what we are doing in this vehicle. The the issue has been replaced. Everything has been replaced. I don't know. I saw one of the issue before the before the owner of the car brought the car to Miami to mobile. All right, guys. I want to share something with you here. As you can see, the P light here is showing, but there's no P and drive light in the dash. And when you engage the car just hit see all right guys yeah uh, no p light here all right guys i'll be running scanning let's do auto review as of 2006 so right to 2006 okay let's go left hand steering Let's do auto scanning. Let's see if the VGS is complicating. <coughs> because at times, if the VGS does not communicate, something like that too will happen. So let's run auto scan. Let's see. ECM pass no fault. Transmission will have five fault. Let me position there. All right, on ESP you have nine fourth. Alright guys, we have uh okay. Alright guys, let's go to the transmission and uh ESP. So let's go to the transmission first. It communicated. So but the P light is not showing, the drive light is not showing on the dash, and uh I'll be running diagnostic. Let's see which of the fault is there. All right, we have temperature of gear oil is too high. Okay, the signal from component TP transmission oil temperature blah blah blah. Component CPU 48 fully integrated transmission control VGS control unit is defective. All right, then the CAN signal for start enable sent to the drive authorized system by transmission control is missing or invalid. So guys, let me tell you why this information is here in the system. Uh, I strongly believe that they have changed the VGS, which did not compact with this vehicle. So the VGS is not the same thing. Uh, they have another the, uh, model of VGS that they just, you know, fixed in this car. I know they just got another VGS from junk and then they just put it, which is not for this particular model of this vehicle. All right, guys. Uh, what I'll be doing, I will replace the VGS, or if possible, I can do other transfer of data. So, but um, so what I'll be doing here, I will be I will change the VGS, then learn it back. So, guys, follow the second video that will be coming up. So, guys, if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video. Thanks for watching.